in the River City tonight after the fallout over leaked body camera footage of Decatur police shooting and killing Steve Perkins. Perkins was shot in front of his home in September and former officer Mac Bailey Marquette has been indicted for his murder. 48 News is aware of the footage first posted to an online political news site, but we are choosing not to show it out of respect to the Perkins family and fairness for the officer's trial. WAFF 48 Savannah Sapp is live from Decatur City Hall tonight. Savannah, this leaked video has reignited protesters who are still angry over the shooting death of Steve Perkins. That's absolutely right, Margo. Rodney Gordon with the Morgan County NAACP, who has been on the front lines for many of these protests, says the footage will spark more marches in order to place more pressure on Decatur City leaders to fire their police chief and for the mayor to step down. Now, during a march around City Hall this evening, protesters tell me this footage only confirmed their belief that Perkins' death was a premeditated ambush. The truth is they came from behind his house. They hid there before anybody ever knew, and they came out and they killed an innocent man because they could. We got to fight back. We got Protests over the death of Steve Perkins now revived following the leak of police body camera footage showing exactly what took place the night Decatur police shot and killed him. The footage quenched protesters' thirst for more detail behind that September night, which started with a tow truck driver calling police to say Perkins threatened him with a gun as he attempted to repossess his truck. But Morgan County NAACP President Rodney Gordon now wants to see what led up to the shooting and the conversation between the tow truck driver and police. A, that's, that's a body cam that we haven't seen yet because when they met with, the, with that officer, they, that body cam should have been on. That's the conversation you need to hear because that's where the plot took place. Perkins family friend Danny Safaya says the footage shows officers giving Perkins little to no warning before firing at him. Steve did not have time to answer or comply with any demand. They didn't flash any lights. They didn't knock on the door. They didn't announce themselves when he came outside. Decatur police and Mayor Tab Bowling have declined to comment on the leaked footage, and it's still unclear who leaked the footage to an online conservative news outlet. The Alabama Law Enforcement Agency only told WAFF it conducted an impartial investigation and handed its findings over to the Morgan County District Attorney's Office. Well, Mac Bailey Marquette, the former officer indicted for Perkins' death, has a trial date set for November 18th of this year. For now, a temporary gag order is in place where no parties involved in the case can comment on it publicly. A hearing for that gag order will happen on April 8th. Reporting live, Indicator, Savannah Sapp, 48 News, on your side. All right, thank you, Savannah. Meantime, Steve Perkins' brother, Nick, issued a statement which reads, in part, our family was granted access to body cam footage by the district attorney's office following the murder indictment. So we were already aware that body cam footage confirmed that Stephen was recklessly ambushed and murdered by the Decatur Police Department, end quote. We'll staying